the episode five seems to be like i think it's like so far i haven't seen like the first five i think this is like the least dramatic yes i think this is the least dramatic <laughs> So let us discuss this episode. So, you know, from last episode, we all know how men really brought drama. And she was really poking these ladies, making these ladies go crazy. And she just go back and be like, hey, I don't want them screaming. I just want to be, they are classless. I feel like Mel is an instigator. But I think I am loving, like, I'm loving that kind of person on the show. Because if she's not giving us that kind of content, how, how are we going to see drama? But before that, let us discuss the Mel and Crystal friendship. You know, Mel have been all out. I think like maybe two or three um, episodes. I think two episodes prior to the episode five, Mel made it clear that yes, yeah, she's not really finding herself connected. I'm um, connecting to Crystal and all of that. And now they're now besties. <laughs> it's crazy though. But the thing is, for Crystal, is Crystal really being a follower of Mel? For me, I think it is coming across like Crystal just find herself like being a follower of Mel. But reason why I find Chris like reason why I'm not really having an issue with Crystal connecting or getting to be like friend with Mel is the fact that I think she cannot do it all by herself on the show. Yeah, she cannot do it all by herself. She just have to find that person she connects with and like get to give us a show from and um, like having connected with her. If not, she'll just be like, it's just be a crazy situation for her. So that is one issue. And we've not really seen the show so far. So we cannot really say Crystal is a follower. Because I think probably maybe pri um, next, um, coming subsequent episodes, we might get to see Crystal. Because we know that Crystal to be that very independent woman who have a voice of her own. And she does, she has a mind, the, a mind of her own. So like, let us just give her the chance to see a dynamic throughout this episode before probably we tag a male follower then for male having to now connect i think male too it's just like the same situation for crystal the way crystal don't want to just be like single like she cannot really fight this battle all by herself it still it still seems like the same thing for male so she just has to like connect her with someone and there's one thing again i th i think i find myself to see like a reason why these two people are find themselves like connected to themselves is the fact that they have like an enemy in common I don't know if that makes sense to you. And who is this enemy in common? That is Bev. You know, for Crystal, Crystal had already made it clear that she and Bev, and Bev are supposed to come to the show and be like the besties. But Bev betrayed her and all of that, which I feel like it's just Crystal being dramatic about because Bev is not supposed to come to the show, be a bestie, and not really get herself connected or get to know the other ladies. So I think it's just Crystal being the drama queen we know her to be. Then for male um, situation now you know for male you know male and Beth, they already had their issue Beth too i think for those two people i i will find it like ah oh, why because they already have their issue prior and Beth already made it clear that i don't like you and all of that but away from that you know then this situation where male came out and she was like um saying things that she read from Beth status and that gives me that kind of made me think like is Mel obsessed with Bev? Is Mel so into Bev? Or like, why? Because with the um, post she did put out, or else if that post was something that um, Bev recently posted on while they were on the show or something, but if it's something she had posted way like long before and she had it, I think it's just clear for us to know that Mel already have like she do not like Bev too from the onset. In as much as Bev, like I don't like you and all of that, it does seem as though like it's a mutual feeling. Bev do not like Mel too from the um, Mel don't like Bev too from the onset because for you to have, I literally have those screenshots. Then you won't have it printed, and you yet having to see all the, like you have those things. Like it's just like okay, I think I can use this against that. And for you to have all of the like you already have that feeling that okay, you're not you're not really sure with her. The way I have things like I just come across to me like it's already it's something she has decided like this woman I won't really find myself connected to her and you already have like you have screenshots you have them printed and you want to use them to like counter counter things they say and make them seem like not the person they project themselves to be it just speak of how the 
hate these two ladies share is mutual i know i don't know if that makes sense to you guys this episode now they did um away from all of that this episode returned back to their conversation on the table mel and crystal we are not there because they said they can't be in a screaming competition but i think the ladies really get to know themselves very well because like Uncle, they discuss uh um a polygamous um, situation with the ladies and it was a very beautiful one to see the ladies getting to bond and it discussed Nonko too. Then I discussed this Nonko situation about shaming Bill and all of that. Do you guys think that should be a red flag? I know that person will be like, that is red flag, that is red flag. For me, I find myself in a situation where I really do not know what my stand is supposed to be here because I think at this stage, people discuss gender equality. <laughs> So when it comes to sharing bills, why should equality not come in here? So I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but so that is one thing they really discussed and how Noko seem and Noko seem no and Noko is not really seeing that as an issue. The situation where she had to share bills because I'm so sure we are still getting to see this guy on our screen. And even as at now say so regardless of the fact that they find it funny, Noko is like, oh, I'm fine with it. So that is one thing for them. Then let us discuss the situation where um, they went to rap weed and all of that, that experience. And I feel like if everybody on this show seems to be like men who will always shy away from being in activities and all of that, it will not be fun. These ladies will not really get to do the things they need to do because I think almost every engagement, she's always like running away from them and like, why? Why? I think I'm here for this. Then, but I don't really have issue with her saying she knows to rap whatsoever they are rapping because she feel like it does not really like, probably conform with her value and all of that. Fine, I don't think I have issue with her not doing that. But the issue I do have here is the fact that she was judgmental. She was literally judging those who have decided to do it. And you know, she was she was having this conversation with Krista that Noko is a mother, blah, blah, blah. I was like, if you're not doing it, don't do do you don't need to judge the people who have decided to do it. I don't know if that makes sense. And you know, I think it's part of like the Jamaican experience, the Jamaican culture, and that is one thing they do so well there. So why are you trying to judge these people who have decided to do this? Then seeing um Noko and Liz smoke. I was like, these women and I think I've already made it clear that Noko is that cast on the show who will give us a reality uh who do, who do give us a reality undiluted and it's a, an interesting something to see like she does give us undiluted reality she's ready to give us the good the bad and the ugly and it's interesting to see about her and i think probably maybe yes but i i, I wanted to say i think probably more housewives should try to emulate this but it's not really good though like for me as a person i think it's best to um put out the good and really take out some things but to an extent it's really make the show original so if any if people want to be that original they can do that but if you think you really value your reputation try to give out the best or like the yes the best of you and not do the good the bad and the ugly but when you do the good the bad and the ugly you really give a very original content on reality tv show that's it so what else again i think this and i love how lakonko seem to be like in the, like she seemed not to be like taking a stand with these groups that have been divided on this show and that's one issue i have with like um i think we also of the band had this same pattern where the ladies already have a line like it's always group a versus group b this same pattern is coming in here it's now like crystal and male versus the other is it four ladies and i don't think i'm i think we should be able to really see them connect to one another and when they have issues it should be like this person and this person issues and not like because of this person is having this issue with this person it's turned turn out to be every other person on the other end it's turned out to be their issue i don't really like it it just really kind of bring down the vibe and the way at which they connect and give us a good show so this is all i'm discussing for the episode 5 of the ultimate girls trip south africa bye -bye.